Mr. Jice, I know you're working with tribal nations before and including the Gila River Indian community in the Southern part of my district. Can you discuss what else Congress should be considering to make sure that tribal communities can get the best wireless services possible? Thank you, Congressman O'Halloran for the question. And it was an honor to serve Gila River for the years in which I did that. What it did give me an awareness of was just how difficult the challenge is of bridging the divide in our tribal communities. What Congress can do is what you did, you know, promote the opportunity for tribal windows when spectrum becomes available. Make certain that there's sufficient time for those tribal communities to apply for that window. So we appreciate your leadership on that, that work. But as Congress looks at spectrum opportunities, it needs to recognize the sovereignty of our tribal nations. And that sovereignty means that they should have some input into the destiny of the wireless spectrum that runs over their lands. Uh, so that's, that's sort of what the tribal window uh, created. Um, and uh, as we move forward on all spectrum bands, we think that's a good policy for the FCC to look through. In addition, the FCC can look at tribal bidding credits and how to reform those to better utilize them, as well as disaggregation of spectrum license areas so that tribal communities can build the networks on their lands where a provider has the, has the area, but not the will to build. So uh, I look forward to working with your office on these issues. Public knowledge is, a, is an advocate for our tribal communities to make certain that they have affordable access because as you know, they are some of the least served communities in, our, in, in the country.